Okay, we are back. Um, you know who you are. I am the Pod Brother, uh, and this is Ahmed, right? Mohammed. Mohammed. Mohammed, um, the owner of the Skillet. Urban what, Skillet. The Urban Skillet, and the Urban Skillet is part of the North Hollywood Art Walk. They set up kind of a, a little uh, mini satellite gallery. Uh, of uh, De Camille's work, right? Yes. And uh, so they're participating, doing their part as a, a business here in North Hollywood to support the Art Walk. How are you? I'm doing great. I heard your place is uh, is new. Yes, it is. We're um, we're about three months old now, and uh, we've had some uh, really good reviews from uh, people in the area and. Uh, people from beyond and, and customers and whatnot and uh, we're happy to be here in North Hollywood. Sweet. What's your claim to fame? What's your like uh, your go-to burger? The, it's a sandwich actually. It's called the uh, Phil Gogi cheesesteak. It's a Korean barbecue Philly cheesesteak and it uh, goes really well together. Everybody loves it. Wow, that sounds delicious. Sure. Did you come up with that, or uh, who came up with that? Who's? Yes, I uh, I did, and I mean it's Korean bar. Nobody, I've never met anybody that said I don't like Korean barbecue. You know, so um, <laughs> cheese steaks are amazing too. I've never met anybody who's. I'm sure there are people out there, but uh, but so we put those two together, and they tasted amazing, and we said, you know, this is something people would really enjoy. Wow, yeah. that's cool. Now I was talking to uh, De Camille about. Um, you know, designing my own burger. She's like, you know, what's your ultimate Pod Brother burger? And I said, you know, I, I would like to have like, you know, like a, a third pound, you know, all ground beef with avocado, Munster cheese, oregano, caramelized onions, and cranberry. Cranberry, wow! Cranberry, <laughs> that's that sounds really interesting. It's good, man. I, I made one, you know. I, I you know I, I like grilled the burger, I put everything on it, and I opened the fridge. It was like right around Thanksgiving time. There was some leftover cranberry, and I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just throw this on the burger. Sure. Because why not? You know, I had it with turkey. Why can't I eat it with uh, a burger? Man. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I was licking the plate, man. I was like, oh, dude. So, you know, that's kind of like my go-to ultimate pod brother burger now. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe that might be something you could put on the menu maybe you once know, I once a month and call it the pod brother burger. <laughs> I could send people there to, to try it. <laughs> you know, if we put it and we send, and you're going to send people there, then yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll have that on the menu. Yeah, maybe we Sounds could do a podcast there yeah. and, and have it like the pod brother burger day. Sure, Just yeah. See, Actually, see what happens. Sounds great. Yeah, that sounds you know, great. I mean that's honestly that's a really interesting idea. Cranberries, I've never seen that, never heard of it before. But I bet trust it me, it's right. good. Sure, it's good. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know it may not like for some people they may not visualize it, but it's really because that little bit. You know how cranberry yeah. tastes? It's just it's like that little bit of sweet, of. sharp kind of thing sure. mixed in with the oregano and mustard and your avocado and your yeah. caramelized onions. It all blends in together. It's like mmm. <laughs> Well, maybe you can come take a look at our menu and change up some stuff because it sounds like you have some great ideas. So. I got some good ideas, man. Yeah. I think I, I would love to do that, yeah. you know, just to, to yeah. sprinkle a little pod brother flavor on some of your, <laughs> on your, some of your stuff. Right, right. Is this the only spot that you have or do you have other locations? Or Yeah, this is uh, this is our first spot and, um, you know, this is kind of our, our trial uh, into the, the restaurant world, you know, as being a restaurateur. And, it's a very interesting journey, uh, to say the least. Um, you know, a lot of things I didn't expect, and a lot of um, a lot of things I did expect, and uh, you know. But still, the whole journey comes up as something that, that's really surprising. And uh, uh, every day, it's kind of new, and something happens, and we have to deal with it, or you know, react to it, or you know, or come up and become better than before. But uh, I'm really happy I got into this with my partners. They're two great guys, and we're all young, and we. Um, you know, we look forward to growing. That's Especially awesome. Yeah. Um, now, do you have an alcohol license with that too? Are you serving beer and wine, or is it m mostly a restaurant? We don't. We um, eh, the reason for that actually is because we're um, we're a halal restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, what halal is, it's uh, it's basically easiest way to explain it. It's the the Muslim equivalent for kosher. Ah, uh, okay. So, um, you know, alcohol isn't halal because mm -hmm. Muslims can't eat halal. But um, you know, and, and the reason we got into that is because there's not a lot of, and there's very little halal restaurants in LA, especially ones that um, that offer trendy foods or, or, or have a unique menu. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny because a lot of our customers come in and go kimchi. Oh, that's that's not halal, but it has nothing to do with it. You know, that's right. how little people know about it. Right. So um, you know, we consider ourselves kind of breaking through that uh, that image and, and creating a new trend. And uh, you know. Kind of hope that uh, 
you can keep on going with that it. sounds cool man that sounds exciting oh yeah definitely yeah um so if you had an opportunity to open like make this kind of a franchise kind of thing are you are you looking down the road for like franchising this or you basically kind of want to focus on this one restaurant and then maybe you know take on some other uh, entrepreneurial ambitions or is this you know is, is yeah. something that's franchisable or what do you yeah, think it, it definitely is um, you know we we came into this with that in mind we wanted to grow you know as, as big as we could but still maintain a sort of um, you know family atmosphere family culture you know with our business and um, and we're, we're continuing to do that and um, you know we you know we hope one day we will when they ask you to uh, participate in the art walk uh, what were your first thoughts on that well you know um, it's funny because coming here to North Hollywood was such a blessing in so many ways they uh, everybody here was so supportive you know even when we barely just signed our lease to the place and we had the doors open people were coming and asking us like what are you guys gonna open and we told them a few things and everybody was so friendly and so nice and um, honestly any way that we can give back to the community we would like to do that because uh, you know some people some people even out offer their help you know I mean it, it was like that this is this is a city like no other and um, we're really happy just to be here and uh, you know so if, if I can use this as a venue to say thank you to everybody that supported us and, you know and, and continues to support us and the people here are great and um, you know this is just one of the things that we would we would like to help with and if there's more we're here for that. Do you have a uh, Wi-Fi in a dining room where people can you know sit down and have a lunch or dinner and yeah. maybe you know yeah. check their emails or sure. whatnot yeah, yeah absolutely we do okay yeah. that sounds cool man. Yeah. i'm excited to get down there and check you out man yeah that'd be great maybe. peruse your menu and yeah, sure. yeah, you know get on the internet you know do a podcast down there and sure. check out the menu to see if we can sprinkle the pod brother <laughs> ultimate burger on that and maybe you can come help me uh cook that burger and yeah. make it the way that you make it yeah that so would be awesome good. we could yeah. we could retrofit a camera in there and i could be in a sh <laughs> in the grill just like <laughs> <laughs> you know, sure. Working, Absolutely. working my, working my magic. Sure. Absolutely. Awesome, man. Well, it's a pleasure. pleasure Thank you for you stopping too. by the Thank Pod you. Brother Show, and uh, we are going to do what we can to support the Urban Skillet. Yes, it is. And uh, and I'm, I'm excited to get that Ultimate Pod Brother Burger like on the drawing board. Sounds great. Yeah. I can't wait for you to come. In. Where can we find you on the web, social media? How can I send some of my people to uh, come and check you out and support you? We're on Facebook, Instagram, Yelp. And uh, Twitter, of course. Um, you can just do a search for the Urban Skillet online. You'll find us uh, uh, the Urban hashtag the Urban Skillet for Instagram and uh, for Yelp as well. Sorry, for uh, Twitter as well. So awesome! Find us well. All right, you know where to go. You know who he is. You know who I am. You know who you are. I expect to see your ass at the Urban Skillet checking out the Pod Brother Ultimate Burger. So we will be back with more fun here at the North Hollywood Art Walk. And uh, whatever you do. Put the urban skillet on your bucket list. Because I will come and put you in a sleeper hole if you don't. <laughs> All right. Peace out. <laughs>